Hi, I'm Sophie from Wholesome Houseplants and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between Epipremnum pinnatum and Epipremnum pinnatum seabood blue. I've got both forms here and I just want to put the leaves side by side really so you can tell the difference and work out what you've got. Um, I'll also let you know where I got them from and how much they cost. So first one is Epipremnum pinnatum. This, especially in Europe, is much more likely to be what you have. Um, I only have one leaf which has a slight bit of a fenestration going on. Um, unfortunately the leaf is also torn which is not ideal um, but the Epipremnum pinnatum might, even though it's quite young, have these fenestrations whereas the Cebu blue is unlikely to have any kind of fenestrations. It's only the much more mature versions. So this one I got from Columbia Road Flower Market. Um, it was it didn't have this long runner when I got it, so that's grown at least, and it's got a couple of new leaves since I've had it. Um, probably got this about six months ago, so it's been in quite low light condition as well, so it's maybe a bit of a slow grower for that reason. Um, yeah, I think this plant cost me eight pounds in England so Columbia Road flower market is notorious to have like really cheap reasonable prices so I was really happy with that and um, I really like this plant I love how the dark green foliage and I like the shape of the leaves so and I'm excited to see them fenestrate as they grow so I was really happy with that this one is also an Epipremnum pinnatum which was uh, I got as cuttings and it was sold to me as Cebu blue um, but I didn't expect it to be Cebu Blue because it was so cheap. Um, I think that's probably a good indicator of whether it actually is a Cebu Blue or not. Um, this I got as cuttings through Facebook. So I think I got three stems and I think they were £4 each. I think this one's growing significantly faster than this one because this one is in my own potting medium whereas this one's the medium it's, it came in in the nursery pot and I haven't got around to pot changing it yet but um, maybe if I I might pot these two together and have a bit of a fuller plant and then we have the Cebu blue so instantly I mean I'll do close up so you can see but they're just completely different there is no comparison between a Cebu Blue and an Epipremnum normal version. Um, these leaves are just unmistakably silvery blue. When I first saw this in real life, the plant that it reminded me of most was, which I've got here, is a Philodendron Silver Sword. Like the colour of the leaves is really similar. Um, I actually have a cutting of a Philodendron Silver Sword here anyway, a much smaller leaf. And when they're side by side, you can see the colour differences. I'll put all three together and you can see how much closer the Cebu Blue is to uh, the Philodendron Silver Sword than the regular form. And then in terms of price, I got this from, uh, it's called Twisted Leaf and Vine. They're a, a plant shop in the UK online um, and I paid... Forty pounds, including postage, and that got me. They say it's like their signature soil mix, um, which is a good soil mix. So I'm happy with that, and I don't need to repot. And it came with this moss pole. Um, I'm crap at building moss poles, so I'm happy that that's already there. And I was really happy to pay forty pounds for that. Um, it came really well packaged, and I love it. So um, I'll also do some close-ups of the leaves of these because on a Cebu Blue they've got really distinct veining, whereas you just don't see that in a regular form. I just want to say as well, the other day I bought these three little cuttings um, because I have a problem, but these three cuttings were 15 pounds. Um, and I just want you to show you compared to the bigger Cebu Blue. They are obviously very much the same color um, but much smaller and this here is definitely a tear not a fenestration um, the first 
of all these plants to fenestrate will definitely be this one just because of the size and the fact that it's already climbing but you can see it again compared to the regular Epipram lampinatum the color difference is just you know completely different to do another comparison and that's the Cebu blue with Monstera siltipicana because I think they are actually quite similar. Obviously, this is a lot more structured, but you know, this sense of, of deep veining that you can see on a Cebu blue and the leaf shape is quite similar to a Siltipicana. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some clarification. Uh, please do like it if you've enjoyed it and subscribe for more. Hope you see you next time. Bye.